assume that a random variable x is normally distributed uh, with the mean mu is 70 and standard deviation is 12 compute the probability that uh, x will be between 37 and 85 so first thing we do is that we draw uh, this uh, normal curve we have So the center is here at the mu, so mu is 70. And uh, we have to find this probability that the x is between 37 and 85. 37 will be somewhere here. Let's call it x1. And 85 would be somewhere here, so x2 is equal to so to find the probability between this mean that to find the area is the cutoff point. So this is the cutoff point here, this is the cutoff point here. So we have to find this area. And to find this area, first we have to find z values. So for x1, so let's call it to point z1. So z1 would be x1 plus mu by sigma and x1 is 37 minus mu is 70 you see that this is mu this is x1 right and sigma is this one I highlighted it here 37 minus 70 by sigma which was 12 so that turned out to be negative 2.75 and uh, then for z2 so that would be x2 minus mu by sigma and x2 is uh, 85 70 divided by 12 so that was turned out to be 1.25 now this z1 is corresponding to this one so corresponding to x1 so this value here this is corresponding to this value here so yeah and similarly this value would be corresponding to value here so now to find this area so what we have to do is that we have to look for the value in this uh, table at z is equal to 1 per 2 5 so 1.25, so z is equal to 1.25 for this one, so it will tell you the area of this plus this, right, so they together. And uh, for this value of z, the, it will tell you the area on this, this side. So because we need just the middle part in this area, so that's why we just do find the value at this and then minus the value from this one. P of so x is 37. So this would be the same as probability of C is then negative 0.75 less than 1. So we just uh, go to the table. 1.25 so you see that this one here uh, uh, one uh, 1.2 so this is 1.2 right and the next digit is 5 and that would come from here come down here and then go in this row and it's a point eight nine four. so I would add point eight and this is for as far as corresponding to z is equal to 1.25 so uh, this way right so negative 2.7 this one and then 5 would be here right so this is the column of 5 so this would be turned
this value and this column and 0, 0, 0, 3, 0. That would be 0, 0, 3, 0. And this would be 0, 4, 8, 9, 1, 4. And that's the answer.